<clears throat> Get up in here. Yes. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a good one for you. We're out in East Texas. That's right. We catch a big one right off the bat. This lake is so unique in the fact that there's so much timber and always falling trees and so you don't have the opportunity to fish a lot of moving baits because there's just so much wooded area. It's tough to throw much but very heavy braid. You can't get away with many crankbaits unless they're a very shallow diver and if you're throwing a jerk bait you're probably throwing it on gear too light for this spot so we break things down in the running lanes where it's a little bit open. We tear them up and then we make it to the back 40 and catch some bigs on the Texas rigs. Hey y'all welcome to day three on Nackinish. We're hoping to get on them today. Devin is parking the truck we're launching the boat and I just caught the first one before she even made it back on the old whopper plopper let me flip them up in the boat get them unhooked I think it's gonna be a good day based on this let's go Get up in here. Yes. Wow. New punch. Let's go. There we go. First one. Maybe just a little to the left. Gone. There we go. Nice. Get him, get him, get him. Mm, they're going ham. Morning, y'all. Right there on that Corrado. Oh, oh, oh. Done. The big ones are probably down lower, so you'll probably get them. Um, there's only a few. Oh, that one. Okay. On the one that you were using, they're gonna hit this. Number five or six, that's a skinny post spawn female. This one is. Another small one on the jerk bait. Just the flipping, but you can feel free to use that whenever you want. Got him, just sitting. I would be using this if I were you. We have two jerk baits right now. Jerk baits on fire. Oh, 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 oh. Oh boy. This one's too heavy for this eight pound line, I think. I'm using light eight pound line on this setup, y'all, so I'm just gonna get them in the net here. All right, got him. Oh my gosh, get in there. You will catch them. They move through so fast. So we're starting off by fishing the running lane this morning, y'all, and these fish are just schooled up right here. They are chasing bait. And so uh, we're just throwing these jerk baits around. This is exactly like the bait fish that these bass are chowing on right now. So we're getting a lot of bites on these jerk baits. Just small, subtle presentation. Might catch a big one on this, but right now it's a numbers game to try and find them. Uh, we caught that big one on the Bandito bow, just flipping it. Back to your right, there's just fish loaded in this whole area right now. Pretty crazy. But yeah, pretty common tactic here is fishing the running lanes with like, you know, jerk baits and cranks. One of the few places you can really get free range with this type of stuff. Otherwise, you gotta kind of flip, throw top water. Um, you know, you can throw maybe some shallow diving square bills around these trees here but you're not going to be throwing deep divers many places other than the running lane so oh, 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 perfect yep let's get these guys right here i've been getting all the love and devin's been having no luck throwing the same thing so hopefully she gets a fish any second now got him the little saucy swimmer 
<laughs> nice. Devin's on the board. I feel so bad. I've caught like 13 fish. She always outfishes me. Every day of this trip, she's caught like the biggest one. <laughs> Jeez. Rolling up to the cabins, y'all. We're going to let the dogs out real quick, get the coffee, and then we're hitting the back 40. We're going to make a a little bit of a run to the back of the lake. Fishing the running lanes paid off, I'll tell you that. Quick intermission before we get back to some deep water fishing on Lake Nakanish, y'all. We want to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, Mystery Tackle Box. Let me tell you what, without the support we've had over the years with Mystery Tackle Box, it'd be tough to justify spending all this money on gas with inflation as crazy as it is to showcase some of these amazing fishing destinations for y'all. So, without further ado, Mystery Tackle Box is actually a subscription membership where you can get new baits sent to your house every single month. We're gonna open up an elite box today something a little bit different. I normally open those pro boxes. Discover new fishing products and techniques. The Mystery Tackle Box team knows a thing or two about packing a box full of fish magnets. We've been doing it since 2012. Rip this fishing kit open and start discovering new fishing lures and techniques to up your angling game. If you've been holding out on trying MTB, head on over to the link in the description or pinned comment. Try your first box for as low as 10 bucks. Now let's get back to the fishing. Big one, big one, big one. Oh, came off. Came off. Go, 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 go. Ah. Oh, he's not that crazy big. Not that big? You gonna flip him up here or what? Is it large? First cast. Nice. <laughs> huh? Watch yourself. If the boat comes across anything, it's gonna be a pretty sharp hit. Maybe four? Maybe. Yeah, no, he's not. He's like maybe three. Alright, on the nip. There we go. New punch. Half ounce weight, double peg, 50 pound braid. Catching him. Oh. Punch. Oh. Well, because of that hook set, I just did it like F the braid up. He's just in the trees. I think it might be small, but either that or he's coming towards us, but that was cool. All right, sweet. Couple pounder. Oh, wow. That was cool. That might have been that one coming back. Yeah, I was rolling. I'm trying to do Because of you, little 14 inch or 12 inch or whatever you are. <sighs> First one in a minute. We'll take it. We got the quick draw box. Bam. All right, that was sunset. I'm taking you back to the current day. I know, stay with me. It's a whole lot of up and down and around on this video, but hey, we are getting to the conclusion of our Nakanish trip. Here you go. We've got a few more catches on the store for you, and we released the big girl at the end. Let's go. Oh, oh, I got a fish as soon as it landed. I don't even know if it's bad. <laughs> wow. He probably would hit a frog or a, he probably would hit anything. Came back into a cove, y'all. It's super murky. That's why I grabbed the spinner bait out. I was throwing the frog for a second, but I didn't seem to get any hits, but probably just because I didn't land on this one's head. Anyways, he smoked it as soon as it hit the surface. I was just trying to hit that shade line right there, get as close to it as possible. There's so many stumps, there's a lot of gunky grass as well, but um, you know, clear line of sight straight to that dude's noggin. So another fish in the boat. Oh, oh, got him. 
<laughs> Dark sleeper. <laughs> this is your spot. You called it. Let me make sure we don't ruin it. He knows. There we go. Show that to the camera. It. We might have found a little parting gift. All right, y'all, we're closing things out on day three of our East Texas send. We got to go check out of the Airbnb. What a blast, catching the biggest fish on the last day. We're going to go ahead and get a uh, weight and measurement on this big girl. Yeah. All right, y'all, closing it out strong on day three, the final day in East Texas with a solid five-plus pounder. We had a blast. We hope y'all enjoyed the thrill ride with us. We're going to get Big Bertha back in the water, and we'll see y'all on the next episode out here. Peace.